if you have the CMOS password, it should, your laptop should come up with this enter password. Uh, so, all right, to remove the BIOS password, flip over your Toshiba laptop, remove the battery. Oops. Remove the memory cover. You will need a Phillips screwdriver. Remove the memory. Some laptops have two sticks of uh, memory. This one only has one. You have two slots. And here you are going to uh, remove the film clear film that's covering uh, the actual jumper section here so flip flip over the remove the the plastic be very very careful extremely careful you're only working on this area here this section you can see the a T and a U kind of on this jumper here. The actual uh, one we're gonna we're gonna short out is the U. So don't make contact with a T, or you might damage the board. Um, uh, a piece of cable. I use Cat Five, so make it kind of long enough where you can actually create a good jumper. So cut off about I say. What's that about two inches? And then remove one of the cables from one of the cat five cables and strip a tip on one side, same on the other side. So your cable should look like this. So this is the jumper we're going to be using. Now we're going over here to the magnifying glass. Gonna turn it on with the magnifying glass, and you are going to see the jumpers. Let me lift it. You are going to see the jumper there. It is uh, here. So what you need to do now is you need to be very careful. I'm gonna use the pin for the the ground pin, the ground on the memory. So so put one tip of your your jumper on there Oops, sorry. and then touch touch the U with your jumper touch it once it's touching it Oops. once you're touching it count 20 seconds 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Then remove the jumper. Put the memory back. Put the cover back on. Screw it on. battery back on turn on the computer it should go and then it should come up with 
the check date and settings because we had reset everything. So CMOS default configuration. If you successfully remove the, the password, it should come up with this. So you want to go into F12, F2. Okay, now you should be at the BIOS, the Phoenix BIOS setup utility. And the system time is set to, you know, the default, which is starts off at uh, zero, zero, zero. So change that to whatever time it is. We're currently, it's 10.03 here. 10, 03. Okay, we're going to go to 10.03. Now the date, uh, it's 3, 2, 2010. Now, all the way to um, exit. So, exit and save changes. Hit enter, save configuration changes. You want to accept this. And then your laptop restarts. If we did a good job, we should see the windows loading. There we go. So we have successfully removed the BIOS password.